52-year-old Kutungi mom. I have no words to describe him. He was a good man. He was a good, good man. Police say... da peni and say taxi ejume ya oye ndi ofa nkofo na odo mu akobe bia wo mu eko do mu ko duo no mawaje ni sika akona kono so e di akofie ni we di ofa passenger is be nese oko drop e wo mu a wo mu entu anaka wo mu se wo mu eni sika wo mu e di etu anaka na ni we chi kwa no mu pese che so mu esan e robo no e di eka ho ndi woni wo mu e ye gidigidi aba ku e pia no a che se ni tiko e ko bo of me ndi mu ja enu ni pa e na mso kra ma ni ye on hospital kwa nomo e bobra sa di mkwa da yi susa na wukunu e yanka kanka krako pe bibi di aba na we huse mwilo kwa kwa tunwa kwa su na utimise e ye awe hupa pa pa na eno ene chese wamo anu wamo e ye juma wamo ayo fa wamo ni binu wamo de ensem e de atuja yen pasenja sinu wamo de ensem e de atuja e di nuhwa dansi e se de pape isi bwa na humo de chese wo frena bebi ya uwo bia wabe babe fa wana chese wade wo ako bebi ya woko sanso ena ni best friend aye friend aye Samuel, I will not let us talk for Papa Pay. I didn't know if we got that in the USA. I introduced you to his taxi, Jimmy. I just said, Oh, you're hard much. My 18 years ago, and let us talk for the young queen. I didn't know about one. I was here, Jimmy. Yeah, born home one day. I guess it will be a hard work in a papa. No, just so a born home one day. But I will do my now. Oh, yeah, you might just have a whole same way. I told you, so then someone who do be brain now. A day or two, a journey for air and send me go on my hour. Oh, now she said, Kuna. Four was shed between to me and the major and one could die so sir. Now, what more is so I will have coins for me, Sam. Why any mean dear, a cost so ever one of them. Now, ye, Juma, one puts me fear, Uncle Ye, Obia, or did it that name, or ye, Juma, Nenso, a ye, a penny, Jimmy, new war, a papa to no crumb, a say, I will hope a papa. Now, a can say, Nanny, a cassidy, we are dear, and anyway, no more about today. Fis a wooden name. Baby, I'm not quite a year. 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 I'm not a peaceful man took his last ride at work Saturday morning. Why do you have to attack somebody for no reason? How much maybe is that money? And you took somebody's life. Come on. Police say the taxi driver drove his five passengers to their far rockaway destination. And it was there at Beach 54th Street and Arvern Boulevard where the suspects didn't pay their fare and tried to rob him. Oh, that's awful. That's awful. That's just awful. Witnesses say he started chasing them, three males and two females, when he was hit in the back of the head. The taxi driver fell to the ground, hit his head, and lost consciousness. He later died at St. John's Hospital. Right now in the house, the it's men's fellowship are there, are there now. The yeah. pastor is there. Everybody is yeah, there now. The Ghanaian community is coming together to comfort his wife and family. The 52-year-old is described as a devout Christian. He and his wife have four children. Children, the oldest only eight years old she's so young to hear this with four children too bad the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers is offering a $15,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Meanwhile, friends and family are trying to wrap their minds around this terrible loss. A loving, loving and caring gentleman, hardworking, hardworking, takes care of the family, 
Yeah, we've really lost a dedicated father. They urged the suspects to turn themselves in, and they offered support for the dead driver's grieving wife and four children. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez has the story from Woodside. Surrounded by loved ones and taxi drivers, tearful and heartbroken, Abby Gima spoke out about her husband, 52-year-old Kooten Gima. I have no words to describe him. He was a good man. He was a good, good man. Police say the 52-year-old taxi driver, a father of four, let five passengers out near Beach 54th Street in Queens on Saturday morning. The fair beaters tried to leave without pain, then attack and tried to rob him. Police say the 52-year-old chased after them. Moments later, he was struck by the suspects, fell, struck his head, and died. Probably was the first fair of his day. Yes. It was probably the first person that he picked up. And guess what? It was the last person that he picked up <laughs> because his life was taken away. For what? For money? It was taken away for money. That's what it all boils down to. Today, the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers gathered to show support for one of their own. The union is now gathered to show support for one of their own. The union is now offering a $15,000 reward for the arrest of the people responsible for the death of the 52-year-old taxi driver. A man, they say, worked restlessly, especially during the height of the pandemic. This gentleman drove his cab. He never stopped taking passengers. This, to me, is a hero like a first responder. If a doctor, a nurse, someone, a family member needed to... I was saying for into the Moka Krano and the Yakwa Kutie Abano, Utie and Senna, I will hope, open you and you need the answer and the message, I come to you more, Sam, Cobble Blanc, or Pepe Biabiti, and in Bayer Day and Nam, Pen Forecast, Samoa, Ayana, and Ukraine. Ghana TV1